Hello there everyone and welcome back to another MechWarrior Online chassis variant video continuing with the longbows and today we're on to a pretty unique version of it here as you can see this is the Longbow 13 New Avalon Institute of Science or NAIS for short if, if that really is uh, shorter uh, NACE anyway uh, the Longbow 13 is a pretty unique version, as it's stated by the New Avalon Institute of Science, or New Avalon, is very much in FedSun's territory, and apparently it was only made in relatively small numbers for them. It was unique in the fact that it was one of the first mechs to start mounting the relatively new, at the time, light AC systems. So all of the missiles are completely removed, and it has three light AC-5s in each arm backed by a pair of ER mediums and an ER small. To help protect it more, it has a Guardian ECM suite, and it also usually mounts B-pods, which, if you don't know what those are, they're basically exploding pods that are built around the legs. So uh, battle armor would get uh, heavily damaged or destroyed if they decided to try and get too close to the mech. Um, it mounts all of this with a relatively small standard engine, but it does have endo steel, and it has seven tons of ammunition. Uh, available to it. Now, there's a couple of caveats here in MWO terms. Obviously some space is saved because there's no B-pods, so no weight is lost. It's also supposed to have a C3 system, but every mech has C3 in mech warrior. So it actually gets some bonuses in the fact that it's actually a bit sturdier than the tabletop version. Uh, this actually has over 100 armor on each arm, which is pretty decent and means that when your torso twists you can survive quite a few hits, which uh, surprisingly for me, I do actually manage to survive in this one. but. I will say, it's not... I, I, I didn't have a good time with this. And there's a good reason. AC5s are a decent weapon normally, and light AC5s are actually supposed to be a big improvement. Yeah, the clue's in the name. They have the same damage and the same weight. Sorry, uh, the same range, but their weight is reduced, which means theoretically you can store more of these medium-range ballistic weapons and do a lot more damage. One of the key factors about light ACs, though, was the fact that there was a lot of specialised ammunition types that were built for them. You know, ones that were built specifically for armour penetration or high explosive, this kind of thing. So, unfortunately, in MWO, there isn't any ammunition types. So, the light AC-5s don't really have much of a unique element to them. And this does leave you in a scenario where you basically just have something that has uh, six ballistic slots. And normally, I would also point out, that when this mech first came out, it did not have light AC-5s because they weren't in the game, so it just had six AC-2s instead. Which was, you know what, is in MWO is probably better, because being able to just rapidly fire six AC-2s is probably much more deadly than six AC-5s. Uh, unfortunately for me, this just means that I have a bit of a, a rough time. This was probably the only variant so far with only, I think it's only one more left to record, that I've actually had any trouble getting a decent match. And I wouldn't, I'm not going to say this is a decent match by any stretch. This is just footage that allows me to talk about the mech over it. Um, and talking about some of the, you know, the background elements and stuff from in-universe for the three people who care about the universe of Battletech rather than just the You make the gun shoot good, make custom build, torso twist more Oh, you make me cringe with the way you play So, I mean, ignoring that crowd, of course of, uh, of, of people who've come into this game far too late to think that, like, tactics actually mean anything because it's the shit that devs don't care about the game um, We are at a point where the NAIS, or NACE, or however you want to pronounce it or say it, is um, potentially quite good. Because obviously you do have an 85 ton assault that has a lot of maximum armor on its arms and the capability to mount pretty decent ballistics. As I said, AC2s is probably the way to go, and light AC2s may be even better because it would allow you to store more ammunition and have weapon systems that could just absolutely thump rounds downrange. Alternatively, this is also a mech that could have high-mounted uh, Gauss rifles. We do have things like silver bullet Gauss now and stuff like that, so it does give you the opportunity to do that kind of thing. So, yeah, it's, uh, here's me panicking, where it's like, oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, and I think, oh, I'll get through this gap. Nope. No, 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 can't get through that gap. No, that's it. 
Uh, oh yeah, beam lasers. Where, where, where these things come from all of a sudden for the clans? Because I've, I've had a look around just to double check. Clans don't get beam lasers. And arguably aren't all lasers in Battletech beam lasers, but whatever. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a topic for a, a different one, a different conversation. But uh, I could recommend this, actually, this model, just because my gameplay in it is terrible, like all my gameplay is terrible. Um, uh, that shouldn't discourage you. In fact, if anything, you should be able to look at this and go, I know I can do that better. Or, I know I can build that better. So when the longbow does come out, this is one I would actually say, give it a go. It's got a lot of potential. High mounted ballistic hard points, a few energy hard points, but you get six ballistics on an 85 ton assault. And there's a lot of people out there who like their assault mechs with a lot of ballistics, don't they? I mean, you see it a lot with things like the direwolves and that. These are, these are assault mechs that can do a lot of damage very quickly. And so with uh, the right combination, I think, I do think that you'd be able to do very well in the nace. Uh, just not how I did it. Uh, I don't dislike the weapon systems, the, the, Christ, look at those beam lasers. The, uh, the, the, the light AC5s aren't a bad choice for it. It's just maybe I was just getting bad matches. I don't know. I, this was maybe, this was match eight or nine. Out of a list, they, they were going bad. I mean, I I had a domination match where the entire team didn't go to the circle. They, they, they went and had a fight in Frozen City over in the south part of the map. And that was it. It was the, no, one, no one went to the circle except for one of the enemy lights who just stood there for the whole time. And that was it. <laughs> it, was, it was just sort of like, oh, wow, this is one of them mornings, huh? But, uh, yeah, if you, if you want to... Um, if you want to be around to, to make my life more miserable uh, for recording sessions, I do try to record on Saturday mornings, my time. Uh, it's so uh, that's a, a BST, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, you might you may end up dropping with me around those times on Saturday mornings. So I'm trying to get these, but that is the end of that round. My terrible score, but I uh, I do recommend trying it out when it's available. Have a good one, all. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>